to the SMC Spectrum video. Today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be looking at some old Pokemon card found in a garage. And um give you a bit of backstory. There was this lady and well she let me look through the Pokemon card. I was gonna do a video there recording it and stuff like that. But I decided not to do that because there's a lot of fakes and stuff, so I just got a few of the good ones and we're gonna see if they're real or fake. And there are two, and I'll show you at the end, in these hard things, and we're going to cut it open. So we're going to cut it open and see if they're real. I'll show you what they are at the end and cut it open, so stay tuned for that and we'll put it right there. But anyway guys, so there's all of these quite old, some of them are quite bent too. So we're going to be doing the light test with light, and also we're going to be just examining them and stuff, seeing if they're like quite good and stuff. So anyway, let's get into the video. So we're going to be starting with the first one in the piles, the nine tail. You can see here it says power keepers, I want to say. Power keepers. A lot of these have a lot of like dents in them, as you can see, and, like scratches, a lot of best condition stuff as well. But we will be putting them in a the sleeve because, what well, we'll be putting them in a the sleeve if they're real. They might be fake. Right, so let's do the light test first. See if it's fake. Not quite real. Normally tell from the back because you can see the writing. And it looked quite real. So we're going to just uh, examine this card a lot more. Well, not a lot more. It'll just be like looking carefully. So it has some denting up in the corner and stuff. See the. And it um kind of bent. You don't really want this in a pack, do you? But also, it'd be fine. You can probably just like put it in a sleeve or hard sleeve. It'd be fine. But anyway, guys, this card looks pretty good, so I'm going to be putting it in the sleeve, and we'll move on to the next one. And up next, guys, we have got a Ladybra, and it's kind of has the same tag. If it just there you go, it says Dragon Front Tears. I want to say Dragon Front Tears, but anyway, um, it don't actually look that much like it has any creases or anything. I think there's a little bit of creasing there or scratch. You normally get scratches on the hollows if you like rub the hollows together. But the sides look pretty good from here. And from the back it looks quite good. The only bit um that's quite bad is up here. It has a bit of whitening, but you know, pretty good condition. There's a bit of whitening at the bottom as well. But yeah, this is a oh yeah, I've got I've got to do this. It, yeah, I think it is real. You can't see it at all. And it's definitely real, so let's sleeve it up. And we're back with another card. <coughs> Sorry. And it's Bayleaf. And I think it says the same thing, Dragon Frontiers. Yeah, there you go, it says Dragon Frontiers, Poison Powder. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, So, let's do the test to see if it's real. It's definitely looking real. It's definitely real. Obviously, there are other ways to, like, test it. Like, it might not always be like that. And it might, like... But the, the fake cards are getting more advanced, aren't they? So, you can't always rely on that. But yeah. You, these were quite old. So, I'm sure they weren't that big back then. I think there are a few scratches on it. You can kind of see the scratches around there. But, um... A little bit of bending. It's fine. 
sides look good. Um, around here, a little bit down there, looks like it's lifting off. But the back, uh, isn't great, a lot of whitening there. And down here, going up the side a little bit there. Definitely some there. You normally get whitenings on the corner, so I'd always check your corners. But it's pretty easy to see, but yeah. Sorry if you can't see that, but there's a bit there. Bits down here too. But it's definitely a real card, so I'm going to sleep it. Right, so next up is a Celio, and uh, it's very bent, I've got to say. Oh, look at that. But, yeah. So, this one says, Legend Maker, I think. Yeah, Legend Maker. Some of it's quite hard to read. But, um, let's see if it's real. Bah. Seems real, so uh, I must keep looking. Alright, so obviously there's a huge. Yeah, don't even have to say. <laughs> but um, a few scratches you can see around here. A few scratches, and um, well, yeah, there's actually lots of scratches on it. So I would definitely, if you have like loads of like rare. Put them in like sleeves, or even if you don't have sleeves, don't put them on top of each other. Put them like that, and then like another one. Like, do I'll show that one? I'm not show this one. And do like that, so they don't like scratch each other, because um, then they get scratches on the thing. Anyway, let's look at the back. So obviously, see this, and the back is where you can really see that it's bent. But there's um whitening there, whitening there. But overall, if it didn't have the big bend in it, it's a pretty good card, i got to say, so we're going to sleep it. And next up, guys, we have this Pokemon. I already say its name, so I'm just not going to say it. You know? Um, but this says Legend Maker again. Uh, you can already see up here a bit coming off. And um, well, there's bits up there. Oh yeah, said again, guys. Please do not. There's like little scratches on it and stuff. Bits on there, a little bit actually dirty. Let's look at the back. The back's always worse. That's like all of these. And bits of like stabs in it, I think. Bits down there as well. Um, so let's do the light test real quick. Seems pretty real to me, so we are definitely going to sleeve it. Oh, the next one I am not very happy to show you. Mm, it looks fine, doesn't it? Well, it's not. And, yeah, that's where you can see it the best. It really looks like it's been, like, chewed up by a dog. And then, like, been spat back out and, like... <clears throat> it's fine, Johnny. You know. And, uh, uh but, yeah. I mean, there's a hollow Vulpix gotta say it says power keepers oh no it says ex power keepers probably would be a pretty cool card i guess um goes with the nine tails actually oh the back to be honest i think the front is worse the back but the back is obviously still damaged because we've been like bent looks like it's been like played with or something like bent stuff but anyway, um, see if it's real. 
Oh, it's definitely real. Definitely real, so. Well, it's real, so. Let's leave it. Right, so there's two of these. I'm not really going to go over these next because I'm sure you just want to watch the end. But there's a Reggie Regas. And it looks alright. That looks alright, bit of whitening. Yeah, we're going to to leave this. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go through these quite quick. And there's also this Houndoom. Um, I've never actually seen this so like so let's just try a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely real. But it looks pretty cool, I've got to say, so I'll just leave it, but I won't do it now, because I'm sure what you want to see is these. Guys, tell me in the comment section which one you think's better, one or two. And let's have a look. Right, so this is number one. Um, I guess it's alright, <laughs> but you probably won if you pick number two. But anyway, let's cut this open. Okay, i got to be like extra careful cutting this because it is real. I could be cutting a really valuable card. Actually, I don't know. Well, if it's fake, obviously, you'll be w winning. I mean, well, yeah, you'll definitely be winning. Oh, it's like sealed into here. No, no. I don't know how we're going to get this open. Let's just look at it. Alright, guys, I've come up with another idea. We're going to cut across the top. See if that helps. But I reckon the top is where we're all going to want to cut. Because, yeah, you can hear it. Try not to cut the card. Try not to cut the card. Come on. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm just going to cold around it. It's just going to make my life easier. Ah, so close. Too close for comfort. I'm just, I'm just doing it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. It's still in there. <laughs> okay, next one. If this doesn't get it out or even help get it out. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to get it out. Pretty cool sleeve, I guess. It's sealed onto it. Ah. Okay, wait. Oh, oh, we're getting somewhere. I got my nail inside of it. There we go. I'm peeling off the back. Oh, it's like, it's stuck to the card. You see that? They stuck it to the card. That's not very good. Okay, so they actually stuck it to the card. So, I'm not going to open this. But we can still do the check to see if it's real through this. So, it seems real. I can't believe they cut through the, like, put it through the card. I mean, we could try and unpeed it from the card, but it won't leave very, you know, good stuff. Probably just end up peeling the card off of it. Yeah. It's definitely been, like, glued to the card. I thought it was just, like, sitting inside of it. Oh, 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 getting somewhere. I can feel the card. No, it's peeled. I reckon they've probably stuck it to the card because it peeled anyway. Oh. Yeah, it was probably peeling before, which meant they probably stuck it to the card. Oh. Oh. So that's what my guess is. So we got the front off, so... This is the front. Looks quite good. I thought I thought it was just like a big sleeve on it. You see, this is why you watch to the end of the video. You get like thrillers. Yeah, if you peel the back off, it's just gonna peel the whole card. So I'm probably just gonna keep this on. And um I guess I'll sleeve it. But 
I probably, if they did the same for the other one, won't cut it off, but I'll show you anyway. I just literally need to cut this to get it off. I can't believe they stuck it to the card. They probably did stick it to the card because it was peeling. Okay, it went in. Anyway, guys, that looked pretty good. And the last one, if you pick number two, was... Da -da -da -da. It's a Lapdos from Fossil. I think you see now why I might not cut it. Actually, you can see on the inside, there's this little bit on the inside. So, if I cut this bit and leave that bit on the inside... Hopefully, I can peel off the surroundings of it and it still get the card. I just don't know if this is real or not. I don't want to, like, peel a card. Because, I mean, this is cool. By the way, guys, I'm sorry if you haven't seen any a bit of it in any part of the video. Okay, so before we do anything, let's do a check real quick. Seems pretty real. Although you can see a bit of the writing through the card. It's not good enough to read, so I'm not going to say it's fake. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do it. Oh, please don't. I'd really hate to peel it. Oh no, it's peeling. Oh, it's stuck in this end. Right, so I'm just going to leave it stuck in this. And obviously it's not going to be worth anything, but I'm not going to get rid of the evil soon. But I'm just going to leave it stuck in this and cut the bits off the edge so I can actually put it in a sleeve. Am I cutting the card there? No, I'm not. It just felt really hard to cut. And also, guys, because this is getting quite much like, at the end of the video, please give me a like if you want this to do it again, because, um, well, we could do another one after Christmas. And please, um, tell, tell me if you want to do it again. Leave a comment saying, like, please do this again. And, um, well, yeah, I'll do it again. So, I don't know why they would do this so strange. But anyway, guys, um, let me see this. Now, there have been quite a lot of cards in this, I've got to say. But anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in another one. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.